Do you hear about that uh, that that girl at the halftime show for Usher who fell off the stage roller skating? I did. You heard the whole story about the fact that she lied about her special skills? Yep. I love lying. It's a very... Uh... It's a very 2024 thing to do, is to lie about something. And then... Oh, please, actors have lied on their resume. First. I have never... <laughs> Lied on my resume. Did I say you? I say actors. I'm an actor. Okay, but you're not the only actor. (laughs) Some actors. You ever lied on your resume? No. Yeah, good. I didn't have anything to... Well, the only thing that would have been was that said, can you horse ride? I can. I'm not like a prolific. I Full disclosure. But I can. Full disclosure. I remember when I was a kid, I was told by my agent and my mom, if they ask if you can do something, say yes. And yeah. I made that mistake once when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. They but, told me, can you ice skate? I said, yes. And I got cast in a commercial and I couldn't ice skate. Oh. That was my lesson at no, seven every, years old. Everything that I used to put on the, because back in the day, that used to be a thing to put like special skills. Everything. Nobody cares anymore. I uh, speak 17 languages. Yeah. They just ask you now if you, they don't actually look on your special skills and your resume. Well, they did for this girl. Resumes aren't even a thing. Uh, really anymore. No, uh, no, because people lie all over the place yeah. on their resume. Um, but, uh, yeah, let us know what you've lied about today. Just- hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Usher. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who's on Patreon. Follow us to the account and subscribe like button. Today we got a new, uh, is this a teaser or trailer? Teaser. Did you hear Beyonce's new country song? It's in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a new teaser for a uh, Tamil film called Amaran. And it's starring SK. Cool. Produced by Kamal Hassan. Cool. Yes. Um, other than that, I don't know anything. <sighs> well, we already knew that. <laughs> Good one, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Here we go. Good. It uh, if there's one thing it wants you to do, it wants you to take it seriously. That's for sure. Is that on your rock? Probably. That's what he does these days. He shows up in films and dies. I mean, no, I, I don't think you don't think is. so. I don't think so. It looks like on your rock. It does. It does quite a bit, but I don't. I don't think so. I know he. If he agrees to do a so film, funny. it means he's gonna die. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that looked intense. Yeah, and I really appreciated all of the, the. Um, the violence depicted looked and sounded like it wanted to be extremely real, real graphic, uh, very yeah. graphic. Um, I, obviously, if anything is taking place in a story that has to do with Kashmir, my first question is going to be: Is this is this just fiction based on events, or is this an actual accounting of something that took place? Do we know? I don't. Yeah. I, uh, let's see. Because uh, I, I, I clearly have no clue. Of no, having this guys. is my first exposure to it. Why isn't it coming up? Uh, 
I guess just look up Kamal Hassan and it'll show up in his filmography as a producer. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to look it up on IMDb and it's apparently incredibly difficult. You can't even do it by its name. <clears throat> Let's see, okay. Do, do, do. Come on, son. Colkey, no. SK21, probably. It says it's a biographical action war film. Also, is this, um, okay, this is it right here. On INDB, it comes up as, as um, yeah, this is, he's playing an actual person. SK-21 is what is coming out on my IMDb. Okay, read this, okay. Read this right here. An upright army officer leads a group of soldiers to battle against Pakistan who are hell-bent to destroy the peace in Kashmir. In this journey, the protagonist discovers himself and inspires his team by giving them support and strength in this deadly war. Directed by Rajkumar... Piri Asami. It, it's saying that he's he's the lead character is Mukand Varadarajan, who was an Indian army officer and recipient of the Ashoka Chakra. Uh, I don't want to read any more about yeah, who yeah, he yeah. is, but apparently it's a biographical a biographical action war film. Well, it looks like it has a heck of a cast. It has not only obviously S K, who. We've grown to really appreciate this past year. Yeah. But it has Sai Pallavi, who... Sai Pallavi, yeah. Gargi. Oh, she's very good. She's very good. Uh, and then also... Oh, my stars. Rahul Bose is in it? Dosed. <laughs> if you haven't seen that interview, one of our favorites. Uh, we wow. We could have talked to him for a moment. If he was in there, I missed it. Yeah, I don't know. Also, it was confusing. I'm pretty sure this is a Tamil film. Uh, yeah, it's Kamal Hassan and it's SK, so they're the leads. And I'm pretty sure Sai is uh, Tamil as well. But they were saying uh, Azadi, which I I know that word as freedom, right. freedom, because I, I said it in the Hater monologue. But I thought that was Hindi. Um, maybe, so maybe it's just maybe a it's, universal, maybe it's uh, yeah. universal uh, thing. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Tamil film, uh, being SK and Kamal. yeah, it's saying it's. Let me see on what I was looking at. Yeah, it's saying it's yeah, a, it's da Tamil. a Tamil okay. language film. I'm guessing that might be just a universal. Yeah, for Azadi it must um, be, must be, um, or maybe just a military word. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, that, that was just a confusing thing, but looked one in terms of like the cinematography, in terms of the stunt looked work, in terms of the VFX really good. work, in terms of like the, the just the, the overall violence of it. Um, it looked like it was pretty intense. I hope the sensor board doesn't um, jack it to shit. They will. Um, Obviously, we know why. I feel like if they want like a, a lesser rating, my bet is they're not. They're going to go for an A rating for something like this with Kamal Hassan, um, I, which means I they, don't know. They won't cut. That just they gave him that. They gave him that rating. So the the way I found out it works is like if you want a what let's say a PG thirteen rating, whatever their equivalent is, they're like you have to do these cuts. If you want an A rating, you can keep it the way it is. Blah blah blah. Right. Um, but they're going to put that distinction, so that's a lot of people's um, excuse for that. I, I still don't agree with it, but that's what they do. Um, which, here, the motion picture rating system will give it its rating, and then the producers can decide if they like that rating or not, because a lot of producers are hoping maybe their film won't be an R because it can get a broader audience, and so they'll ask the motion picture rating system here, what do we need to do to get it to be a PG-13? But... There's no demands that are ever made by our rating system. They just see the film and give it the rating. And then if the producers want a different rating, they ask them, what edits do we need to make to make it a more acceptable yeah, rating? The rating system doesn't really have power outside of just giving it a rating. They just give it the rating. They can't yeah. be like, you can't put that in. No, stuff. you can do whatever you want. They're just going to give it PG-13, R, NC-17. I imagine with um, Kamal um, as the producer, he's not really He's gonna, not going to want to no, change a thing. Like, no. And he knows he's like I. One, he has plenty of plenty of money, right? <laughs> um, but like him, him just knowing, he's like, this is a certain type of film that 
certain type of people probably want to see. Right. It's not like a mass film. It does. At least that's not the vibe it gives. It does give. No. It does kind of give Ori vibes a little bit. It does, and it very clearly. I mean, just watching Maybe even more intense than Ori. There's a reason they included the explosion showing the guy's leg getting blown off. They want you to know this. This is not a, a, a kid story here. Yeah. We're going to be talking about very adult serious subject matter here that you you got to have the stomach for I, I i am appreciating sk's choices at least i mean just from the looks of it um which is funny his last film the alien film i've heard uh, actually decent things about but it, like they hear like it's a kids film it's for kids. it's so for interesting kids. that this is the back-to-back for him. back-to-back for yeah. him is, yeah 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 uh, it's great that's great man versatility wants to, yeah. uh, as many people to like him as possible from in, many different walks and, and and not getting boxed into what you expect just i'm gonna do the films that i want to do yeah. i love that looks really good i'm yeah. looking forward to to seeing more obviously i'm hoping they don't give too much away and i'm one also hoping we get it yeah it's damal so you have damal a, and kamal hassan is you very have happy a, you have a better shot with yeah damal than you do malayalam yeah malayalam it's like we didn't get what a lot of people are like is the best film of the year so far um and if you know what we're talking about, the Mamoudi film. Um, Tamil, you have a better shot at, at, at uh, getting it. Yeah. Um, than you do Malayalam. So hopefully. But because I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but I don't think last time, last year we got, um, to my knowledge, the uh, the part one of the kind of the, in the forest. With the, 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 the train one shot scene, the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that came out yeah. last year. I, right. I don't believe we got it. I, and I, that was a small film. I believe you are correct. That was a small film. Yeah. Um, so it's not out of the realm possibility that we wouldn't get it. This does look it big, happens. This does look bigger than that, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you guys let us know what you think about it um, and anything else we need to know down below. Josh!